the fabric I use for making my wrap skirts is three yards of crepe. But then again, there are other type of fabric you can use to recreate the skirt. You can use a chiffon fabric. You can use a silk fabric. Whatever fabric you decide to use, I know that it's going to come out as beautiful as mine. Okay, so let's go into the next thing. Folding the fabric. Now, step one is for me to fold my fabric here into two equal parts. So like I said, I'm using three yards of crepe. And I'm going to fold a particular three yards of crepe into two equal parts like this. Making sure that the two right sides are facing each other and I fold on the wrong side. So on here, my fabric is already folded into two. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my fabric again into an A shape, making it four layers of fabric. So what we need to do is grab on one part of the edge and then fold. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to this edge here and I'll fold like this. So this is how we get our A shape on our fabric. Okay, so I'll hold on to this part here and I'm just going to fold like this. So once I'm done folding, you're going to realize that I have four layers of fabric and this is what you should do. When folding your fabric okay you need four layers of your fabric and all folded into a shape like this so as you can see here all parts are equal and i'm making sure that where is not equal i make it equal now step three is for us to mark the waist measurement and i'm going to be showing you how to take that waist measurement okay so you, what you're going to do is you're going to place your tape the top of your tape on the point where you feel like you have the demarcation between your front waistline and your back waistline this is known as your side seam so i'm placing my tape on this part of my side seam and i'm just going to hold on to the other end of my tape and wrap this round my waist just as seen so this is how you particularly take your round waist and measurements but because I am making a wrap skirt, I need to wrap this tape again on my front waistline twice. Okay, so I'm just going to continue like this and take the other part of my tape like this to this other side of my waistline. Okay, so please take note that I have the tape wrapped on my front waistline twice. And this is the measurement I'm going to be using to create my wrap skirt. So once I did that, I got 48 inches and I'm just going to be adding 4 inches to that measurement to make this 52. Okay, so you're allowed to add 4, 3 inches, 5 inches to your measurement and use a particular whole number to create your wrap. So 48 plus 4 gives you 52 inches and I'm just going to be saying 52 inches divided by 3.14 and 6 3.14 here is the constant okay the 52 is my own measurement but the constant here is the 3.14 so i did that on my calculator and i got 16.6 so i'm just going to approximate that to 17 inches and i'm going to be using 17 inches as my radius okay so this is how you particularly get your radius for your flay now what is a radius a radius is the length of the line from the center to any point on its edges okay so the length between the center front to the point where i'm going to be marking my circumference is what is known as a radius and i'm just going to mark my radius right now which is 17 inches i hope you guys understood how we got 17 inches or how i got 17 inches as my radius so to mark my radius i'm going to place my tape on my center point which is that point where my tape is seated i pinned it there and now i am marking 17 inches round okay would i call this round i'm just marking 17 inches like this making sure that the tape on the top of my center point does not move but then at the edge here at the other side of the tape where i have my other numbers i'm marking 17 inches round the fabric okay and doing this is going to make or help me get the 52 inches that I'm looking for. And we have successfully marked the radius for my flay. So what I'm going to do next is confirm how many 
inches I have on this line here and I did that I got 13.5 now because I have four layers of fabric I'm going to say 13.5 times 4 and I got 54 now I was looking for 52 inches but 54 is perfect okay so this is where my waist is going to be sitting and I'm going to be getting enough wrap once I tie this around my waist so now let's move on to the next thing you need to do which is mark the length of the skirt now to get the length of your skirt you place your tape on your waist point again from the side seam and then you take it down to the point where you want your skirt to sit now my skirt is going to be 36 inches long find out your own length and mark this on your fabric okay so i will be marking my own length from the point where my waist is sitting okay so you know the waistline here i'm just going to place my tape on the waistline and then I'll mark down 36 inches. Now, this is how you practically create your flay, okay? Like, I did like a very detailed video before this one, the previous video I uploaded. That video also is detailed where I broke down so many things about how to get this particular wrap flay skirt. So, in case you are still doubting this particular video, you can go watch that one also. But I feel like this one too is easy laid out step by step and anybody anybody can make this skirt using this video so i'm just gradually marking my length and as you can see i am moving my tape on the waist and also on the length okay so i'll move it on the waist and then i'll move it on the length and i'll just mark the length that i need okay which is 36 inches and once I'm done my cane, I'm just going to connect all points together. And you're going to see the curve it creates, okay? I don't know if my chalk is visible, but when I cut it out, you see it. So the first place I'll be cutting is the waist, of course, where my waist will be sitting. I'll cut it out. And then I'll move over to the length or cut the length. And once I cut this out, you're going to see the curve we have there on the length. And you're just going to see that the skirt is practically done. The only thing we need to do now is add a band to it. And here we go. We have the wrap skirt. Okay. That is how simple it is to create the skirt. Let me know in the comment section if you feel like it's also simple. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for your comments. Um, I got comments from people watching from Kenya, Uganda, where else again? I got comments from different countries and I'm so glad that my videos are not just for my people, Nigerians. I am glad that other people in other countries are seeing it and they love what they're saying. So please keep commenting your countries and yeah, thank you. I love you guys wherever you are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add the band to the skirt. Now to create my band i have to calculate what i have on my waist like on this fabric here the waist i have to calculate okay i know i worked with um i was working with 52 but then later i got 54 when it comes to fabric once you cut it off it is always going to open up more okay so i feel like i have more than the 54 inches so i'm just going to calculate and as you can see i got 62 so my fabric has opened up more and it's not a bad thing i need enough wrap so yes i appreciate the opening of the fabric okay so this is the fabric for my band i went ahead to cut this off the camera but i'm just going to show you the length of the band so you can see that the length is five inches and the width of my band is 111 inches. Now, why 111 inches? I was meant to double the number I got on my waist. Okay, the waist measurement on the fabric, which is 62, I was supposed to double it and get the band so that whatever I have on my band will wrap around my waist twice. You needed to do that. So um, I was only able to get 111, but please make sure you you increase or you double your waist measurement okay whatever you have on your wrap waist circumference use that double it and get your band okay so that is the width of your band so what i'm going to do now is fold the length into two equal parts and just press this flat okay so do what i'm doing get your band length five inches width your waist circumference times two okay the waist circumference on the fabric times two 
now go ahead and now fold that length into two and iron this flat and then we'll take the next step together so the next step is for me to go sew this band but before i sew there is a place i need to stop when sewing so to do that i'm going to fold this particular band into two equal parts like this okay i'm folding the width now into two equal parts now the first folding we did was the length now the width i am folding it into two equal parts because i want to know the middle point it is very important okay please do this step with me so here is the middle point of my band i'm just going to lay it out like this and i'm going to quickly grab my skirts or my skirts why am i pronouncing it that way it sounds strange so this is my skirt and i'm going to fold the waist that's the round waist on this um wrap skirt i'll fold it into two to also get the middle point it is very important i get the middle point so i have the middle point here i'm just going to place this on the um, band I'm just going to assume that I'm about to attach it. So I'll place it on the band like this. Remember the band is folded into two. Now the skirt two is folded into two. So now I have the point where I need to stop sewing. Okay, so this is the point I need to stop sewing when I'm joining. Okay, when I go to sew my band, I'm going to stop sewing here. Because the rest is going to be attached to the skirt. While the other part here is going to be sewn in by half an inch. So I'll sew here by half. So here by half and then sew down to this point so i have my blue chalk i'll stop and then the other side to so the same thing okay let me indicate it so i'll stop sewing here and the rest is going to be attached to the skirt okay so let's just go to the sewing machine and start attaching all these things so we can be done with this particular beginners project i'm excited <laughs> okay so the first thing i'm going to do is actually hem the sides of my skirt okay so before we start attaching the band, we need to make sure that the side of the sides on the wrap skirt is hemmed. Okay, so I'm going to hem this by folding the sides um, by 0.5 inch twice, and then I'll just sew on top like this. This particular part should be easy for you to follow. Okay, just fold your fabric twice by 0.5 inch or 0.25 and then sew this okay on the sides of your skirt fabric okay your wrap skirt fabric sew that in so that the rough edges end showing okay now the next thing now is the band so let's go ahead and sew the band remember we're going to be sewing here by half an inch at this point you can decide to give your band a design okay you don't need to do it like me you can give it a design whatever design you want to see on your band you can do that design right in here and yeah i'm going to continue sewing this by half an inch to the point where i have my blue chalk okay where i indicated my blue chalk that i need to stop so i'll continue sewing by half an inch that's 0 0.5 inch and i'm going to be stopping here okay the blue chalk so i actually sewed the other side of the band of the camera so yeah i'm not going to be doing that on the camera right now so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be flipping my band to the right side okay to the good side of the fabric okay so just go ahead and flip yours to the good side of the fabric i'm using my scissors for this okay okay so this is how it looks you know what we need to do right we need to iron this so it lays flat before we go ahead with the next step okay ironing is actually very necessary when making this particular project okay so if you're a beginner make sure you have everything that i have on this video and trust me if you decide to make this project you're going to be getting a very beautiful creation and you're going to thank me for it okay so yeah follow everything accordingly and you're good to go so now i'm just going to go ahead and iron my band flat before i take my next step okay this particular part is important it is necessary i cannot emphasize on this too much <laughs> but just make sure you iron <laughs> all 
okay so now it's time for me to fold in 0 0.5 inch on each side of the band okay remember we sewed the band by 0 0.5 inch now the part that we did not close that we said we we're going to be passing or placing the skirt to sew i'm going to be folding the that part by 0 0.5 inch and then i'll iron okay so you can see what is inside what i'm folding is 0 0.5 inch on each side of the band so i'll just keep doing this with my hot iron so everything lays flat and everything is equal so please go ahead and take this step make sure you iron this out first before you go place your skirts in between this band fabric and top stitch okay please make sure you do this it won't take you too much time just take your time <laughs> and just fold in 0 0.5 inch on each side of the band okay the top the base fold in 0 0.5 inch so i'm done doing that okay the next thing i'm just going to do is grab my skirt quickly and open up this band and place my skirt so i'm placing my skirt in between the band fabric okay so i'm just placing it in between and i'm just going to pin okay so yeah the rest of my skirt is going to go in between this band and i'm just going to top stitch on the band and you guys that is it for this particular wrap skirt okay we're going to be hemming the base of the skirt but i feel like after the band the whole process for the skirt is done after attaching the band to the skirt like the process is done the only thing you need to do now is hem the base of the skirt which is very very simple okay so yeah you can see me top stitch and um, white top stitching i'm making sure that i am sewing on the band and also on the skirt okay so the skirt is in between the band fabric you see that opening that we left while we're sewing the band that is where we are placing the skirt now okay in between the fabrics and we're just top stitching okay i am just top stitching i don't know what you're doing okay you can let me know what you're doing on the comment section if you are doing a sew along with me let me know what you're doing just let me know in the comment section if you have any confusion also let me know i'm going to be helping you clear that out okay i'm here for it baby i am here for you okay so once i was done placing my skirt in between the band fabric and top stitching the last thing i need to do now is hem the base of my wrap skirt and you guys <laughs> that was how i created this particular wrap skirt for my wardrobe okay so i am very glad at last i have done this particular project because i've had this in mind for years okay when i go on pinterest and i see girls wear wrap skirts i'm like a day will come where i make a lot of this for myself and i'm just going to be wearing them anyhow i want to and that day is here that that particular day is upon us guys it's upon us <laughs> and yes i was able to do mine and it came out beautifully so i hope you were able to do yours with this video and let me know how your project is going and if you had like the same results as i did okay thank you for watching once more i love you my amazing creative my 100,000 subscribers i love each and every one of you and i'll be seeing you guys on my next project would you want to guess what my next project is or oh, i don't think anybody can guess that i don't think anybody can get that but anyways i'll be seeing you on that particular video Mwah. bye Mwah.